Coronavirus has hit countries around the world, sparking public health emergencies in places as different from one another as Iran, Italy, China, and the United States. Coronavirus, or other known as COVID-19, is rapidly taking over our entire world. The coronavirus has spread to countries across the world, but officials believe that it all started in Wuhan, China. In late 2019, someone at the now world-famous Hunan Seafood Market in Wuhan was infected with a virus from an animal. Some of them are, are more exotic. They, they sell live animals, uh, live wildlife, and particularly game um, that you wouldn't normally see in a supermarket anywhere else. Since then, it has now come to the United States with over 1 million cases. With the virus in full effect, we are running out of everyday supplies we need to live. Many stores and businesses are still running and now considered essential. Three pictures, one common story from Kirkwood to Corpus Christi, Texas to Detroit, Michigan. This is becoming a common sight across the country. People in a mad rush for toilet paper, cleaning supplies, and bottled water. The Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, state the use of simple cloth face coverings to slow the spread of the virus and to help people who may have the virus and do not know it from transmitting it to others. Since face masks are now required in many stores, the United States is running very low on these masks. Places like hospitals, groups' homes for disabled, and even stores like Wawa or Walmart are struggling to get a hold of these essential items. Respirator face masks has sparked a global race to fulfill those orders. Ramp up manufacturing of so-called N95 respirator face masks. These places are now asking for donations of face masks so employees can keep themselves safe. With all the negativity and sadness in the world, we can help. I am home itself isolating and have decided to learn how to sew my own masks to help others. There are so many YouTube videos and Pinterest blogs to help anyone to learn with the supplies in their homes. Fabric face masks are a quick and easy DIY, and we'll walk you through it step by step. My brother has cerebral palsy and is a part of the ARC program. The ARC program sent out an email asking for a list of supplies, face masks, and that being one on the list. This is where I will be donating my mask to. Other members in my family are helping out as well. My aunt and her quilting shop has donated over a thousand masks to local hospitals for doctors and nurses to be able to stay safe. Blogger BB Brooks on Instagram has donated over 5,000 masks for free during this time to healthcare workers in need. You can donate $3 to our website to help someone ship out a mask. During times like this, it is hard to think about the positive in life with so much negativity filling our TV screens while we are sitting at home. I am choosing to make this experience a positive one by donating to everyone who is risking their lives to keep others well. Stay safe, wear your mask, and help others if possible.